water. A lot can be said about it. I mean, look, it covers 70% of the Earth's surface. It's the most abundant molecule in our bodies, and we clearly need it for survival. But you know, there's a lot of strange properties about water. For instance, ice floats. I mean, think, it's a solid. What makes it float? Well, as water freezes, it expands and it becomes less dense. Actually, the hydrogen bonds push water molecules further apart from one another, and therefore it's actually most dense at four degrees Celsius, and that allows ice to float, which is really important for fish and other organisms like polar bears who hunt on polar ice up in the Arctic. Now, speaking of living things, check out the water strider at the top of the screen. How's that organism able to walk on water? Well, it takes advantage of the attraction that water molecules have among each other that creates surface tension and a very delicate membrane that it's able to walk on by spreading its legs out and increasing the surface area. Now here's a crazy one. Hot water freezes faster than colder water. Now how's that possible? Well, to be honest, nobody has a perfect explanation. And studies have shown that hot water will freeze faster than colder water. Water is attracted to itself. The sticking together of like substances is known as cohesion, and the hydrogen bonds in the water cause this. And water is a universal solvent. It gets this title because it dissolves more substances than any other liquid. It's polar, so the hydrogen in H2O has a positive charge and the oxygen has a negative charge. So it's not only attracted to itself, but many other types of molecules that it can then dissolve. So now that we know all these cool facts, Let's take advantage of them and make some water magic. Today we're gonna to do some magic with water. Do you guys wanna do a magic trick with some water? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what you need to do this at home is a mason jar, a mason lid, a piece of screen, a playing card, and some container to collect some water. We're just using an aluminum pan. All right, so we're going to take the screen and tightly screw it on like that. Okay. Real screen, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now what happens to the water when we pour it through the screen into the glass? It will go through, obviously. Yeah, it's going yeah, through. It's going to go through. All right. So now I take my playing card. And I hold it firmly against the bottom. I'm going to slowly slide it out of the way. What? 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 Are you kidding me? How do you do that? How do you Magic. do that? That magic trick was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So it was all about the surface tension. So the water's the surface tension of the water is so strong with these small little holes in the screen that it was actually able to hold itself in. And then once we tilted it, it changed the balance, and the water then gushed out. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. So guys, remember we did that magic trick yeah. where the water was held into the glass with the screen because of surface tension? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think you guys can actually float a paper clip on water? Do you think the surface tension is that strong? Mm -hmm. Who's up for the challenge? Me. All right, give it a try. Okay. See, it sinks, which is what I would expect too. <sighs> So in the challenge to try to float a paper clip, I noticed you guys were kind of dropping it right in. Yeah. And of course it sinks. So if you take your paper clip, I'm actually using another paper clip. Oh, that's amazing. Wow, how did you do that? You can actually wow, float a paper clip. Wow, how did you do that? 
you want to play a trick on a family member, you can secretly add a drop of dish soap to one of the containers of water. Gently swirl, but be sure there's no visible bubbles so you don't give the trick away. Dish soap is a surfactant, just like detergents and shampoo, meaning they have the ability to reduce the surface tension of the liquid, so the family member won't be able to float a paper clip on the container with the dish soap. This is why dish soap and detergents are so good at breaking up grease and stains. One side of the surfactant particle attracts the fats and oil, and the other side attracts the water, helping to wash them away. So go ahead and have some fun. All right, guys, are you ready to continue some magic with water? Yeah. Okay, so what we have here is we have a vase, plate, candle, lighter, spoon, some water here in the dish, and some blue food coloring. Do you think we can actually raise water? Raise water. I know. So what I'm thinking is, how, how could we do that without obviously any pumps or any power? You guys want to give it a try? Okay. Alright, so Brody, go ahead and put two drops of blue in the water. Okay. Georgia, go ahead and gently stir that. Alright, Riley, go ahead and very carefully pour this water into the dish. Okay. I'm going to set the candle right in Did it? Oh. You raised water. So now it's time to explain the science behind the magic trick of the rising water. When we lit the candle and placed the vase on top, the heat from the candle warmed the air around it, causing the air inside the vase to expand and exert a higher pressure. When the candle went out, the air inside the vase started to cool down, lowering the pressure in this weak vacuum, and the higher pressure outside the vase exerted a force on the water, causing it to rise up. And there you have it. There's the science behind the magic trick. So go ahead and try it out and just make sure you have parental supervision since it involves lighting a candle. All right, guys, are you ready for a challenge? Yep. Do you think you can magically change the direction of the water without touching it and only a balloon? Go ahead, give it a try. We'll turn it on. Remember, you can't touch it. I don't know, guys. You see any change in the water? Yeah. I'm gonna try to change. I'm gonna try to get the water to change by using the electricity for my hair. I'm gonna get on the blue. All right. Let's see it. Oh, nice! It's magic. <laughs> Have you ever felt a small shock when touching something like a doorknob after rubbing your shoes on the carpet or going down the slide? Have you ever gotten that crazy hairdo with all your hair sticking up after taking off a winter hat or going down a slide? Well, this is all due to static electricity. It's the result of an imbalance between positive and negative charges on the surface of an object. They build up on the surface until they find a way to be released or discharged. And that's what's going on with this trick. 
The negative charged particles called electrons jump from your hair to a balloon, or you can even use a comb as you rub it through your hair, rub it on your hair. Water has both positively and negatively charged particles, and the positive and negative charges are attracted to each other. So when they move the, when you move the negatively charged balloon or comb towards the stream, it attracts the water's positively charged particles and the stream of water bends. And there you have it. Now it's your turn to give it a try. All right, guys, what do you say we end this magic show with a little rainbow ring? Yeah! Okay, so for this trick, at the end of our magic show, we're going to add approximately 10 drops. Of different food coloring and it's okay if it's not exact. What are you noticing about the drops, guys? Yeah, Riley. Like yeah. What are we yeah. dropping it into? I think that looks like vegetable oil. You're right, vegetable oil. So see the droplets there. Alright, go ahead and uh, gently whisk that and mix it around. Give it a good swirl. And you want to just keep mixing it until you get those streaks as best as you can off the bottom of the food coloring. All right, How good job, Riley. That's because we put the food coloring in oil. <laughs> now it's time oh. for Rainbow Rain. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>